Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today I wanted to show you my money piece and balayage technique that I use every single day in the salon. This is my client Erica. We usually keep her pretty bright and blonde, but today she showed me a photo that had a pretty bright money piece and um, just some subtle lift. Definitely more on the icier side and I just thought it'd be a great tutorial to show you guys. So whenever I'm going to do a more intricate money piece, I like to start with that first because then I'm able to use a lower volume developer and just let the hairline process much more gently because the worst thing is when you start pulling those out and you notice those little breakage or if your client likes to straighten their hair and curl it quite often, those hairline pieces are the first ones to start breaking off. So I really like to be very gentle and delicate with those little hairs. I like to start at the side when I do my money piece first. I'll usually take a slice and then kind of tease into the hairline like you can see right there and I'll apply it, feather it in, pretty much like how anybody else would do a money piece. Um, but I just like to take smaller sections and really take my time with that hairline. It's really important to understand what kind of money piece and what kind of grow out your client is wanting when you start um, applying lightener around the hairline. For a client who only comes in every six months, you want to make sure that their hairline is going to grow out really nice versus someone who comes in every six weeks who is okay with more of an intense money piece because they're going to be coming in more often. For my client here, I like to always tease the base a bit because she only comes in every five to six months and her hair just grows out so beautifully when we do it that way. Today I did do a slice around her hairline but I still teased it a little bit on the root because I knew I wanted that good grow up but I still wanted that intense pop that her photo showed me. So for this specific client, for her front hairline piece, I didn't technically tease the root, I just feathered in the lightener. The photo that she showed me was definitely more of a pop, so I didn't want to take that away, so then the foil right behind it is what I teased. So I was giving the front piece a backdrop that had a little bit more depth that still helps it to grow out really nice, but you don't lose that pop of a money piece. This foil is an extremely important foil. I call it the connective foil because it's what's going to connect the front of the hairline to the side. And without this piece, you start running into having gaps along your hairline where you have random spots of dark. And when someone wants a more intricate money piece and where all around their hairline is bright, you want to make sure to have these type of connective foils because if not, you're just going to have gaps in your money piece. So now I'm going to go to the other side of her hair and just continue along with doing the same thing that I did on the opposite side. After we finish her money piece and her hairline detail, I then move on to balayage. And with balayage, I like to tease the root like you saw, but for her especially, she wanted to still have more depth in her hair and definitely have more of a rooted look. But because I know she only comes in every five to six months, she likes when I feather in some organically placed highlights. Uh, with balayage that really help it seamlessly grow out. So that's kind of what you're going to see throughout here. 
there's really no rhyme or reason for how I balayage. I just kind of look at the hair, hair and the section that I've pulled out and see what it needs. Most of the time, towards the face, I'm going to bring the lightener up higher, as you can see here. And as we start moving towards the back, I leave that depth. That's going to make it look really organic and like how the sun would do it. And that's the main point of balayage, to make it look as though it's natural, hand-painted, and like the sun could have done it. So the other thing I want to mention, a lot of times when you see people do balayage, they'll leave it open air. And I really don't like that. I like to paint it on organically, but then I like to incubate it with a foil. One, it helps it lift a little quicker and a little more even in my opinion. And then it also keeps it from getting too messy. And I don't ever want there to be spots or anything random like that. So having the foils really keeps me organized when I'm going in and balayaging. So after I put in those specific balayage pieces as you see at the very top of her head, then I go through and I just start taking out her ends and just start painting them. Um, she wanted an overall brighter look but still leaving her depth and this is the way that I like to do it. I then just go through and make sure I saturate her ends and her mids and leave those higher foils that were balayaged as the brightness at the top and then everything else is just going to get a clean sweep of lightener just so everything looks balanced and even. So Erica was the perfect client 
for me to test out a new toner. Today I use something a little different. I usually add pastel pink into my formulas, but today I really wanted to try peach. So I used uh, 5.5 of 10P, 0.5 of 9V, and 0.2 of peach because I wanted it to, to be bright and icy, but almost more like a natural ice. And I've come to know that when I'm doing formulas for icier hair, I always want to add warmth into my formula. Um, I like to use this thing called the sun theory. If you look at the sun, it's really, really bright, but it's not absent of yellow. And that's the same thing with hair. You have to still have that warmth in your formula to have a bright blonde. And here's her after. I'm completely obsessed with this. I love how the money piece just fades perfectly from the roots. It doesn't look too harsh on her skin tone or around her hairline. I know when she pulls her hair back, it's going to look beautiful. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, comment. I would love to get to know you guys and have a great day.